Hey there everyone, Hatesh here and welcome to the MongoDB series. So one more thing that we need to talk about MongoDB is another relationship and which is many to many. The most common relation that you're going to see all around in the databases. Giving a simple example, let's just say I'm creator uh, or let's just say you are a person who comments on YouTube videos. So definitely you are commenting on multiple videos and multiple videos are getting comment from multiple people. Pretty easy to understand, pretty simple to understand, and the most commonly used uh, relation, which is many to many, where one entity is associated to many entities here, and here one entity is associated here with many entities. A simple example could be between users and the courses on my website. One user purchased many courses, and many course, and one course is purchased by many users. Uh, it's, it's a simple thing that we can have. So we're going to take an example of this and I'm also going to walk you through that how this kind of thing is handled using the classical MySQL way as well as the modern approach of MongoDB. Again, there is no right or no wrong as long as you are comfortable with it, your application is doing fine with it, that's, that's all what everybody cares about. So. Uh, let's go up here and we have got a lot of databases up here. I need to definitely clean up my database system. It's going way crazy there. So we're going to be using this database. Uh, uh, let's just call this as use LCO. We're going to again create another database on the fly, LCO for learn code online. And we're going to insert, uh, now we're creating two documents, one for the users, one for the courses, so two documents. So the first one is obviously going to be courses and we are going to be uh, saying insert one, open this up, open this up. And here we're going to add just a couple of values just to give you an idea that how these things are handled. You definitely have much more understanding of how to insert values in these databases. So we're going to go for that and we are going to create a new course here. Let's just name it react native because we recently rolled that out. And we're going to put a comma and for the price, uh, we're going to say this is actually almost like $12 course, uh, not 12 rupees, so 12.0. Okay, looks pretty good. So these are the two value I wanted to insert. So there we go, close this down and there we go. So we have got one data being inserted. I am going to use this object ID in a minute. I can actually copy this. Now in case Windows users are not able to copy this, I highly recommend to use git bash. That is far better, far better uh, shell that you can use on the windows com compared to the command prompt. So I highly recommend to use git bash. Okay, so now one value is inserted, let's add one more. And this time we're going to create another document, let's call it as users. And we're going to say insert one. And obviously, I want to insert just one value. That's usually not the case. But in this case, it's okay. And we're going to say name. And obviously, I'm going to put my name, you guessed it right. And we are also going to add one thing, which is is very Fied. So I'm only going to allow the user to buy if they are uh, verified. And obviously we're going to put up a Boolean value. So true is okay. Close this and close this. There we go. Okay. So far, so good. We have got two values into our, uh, into our shell as of now. Now, how the things were done in the way of classic MySQL way. In the classic MySQL, what we do is in that case, we simply create one more document or in that time it was called as table but here we're going to call this as uh, simply uh, one more document so we're going to call this as uh, purchase because these are purchases or product purchase whatever you like to call them and we are going to call insert one on this one let's open this up let's go for like that and now uh, what we usually go in that case we define a product id so product id and that product ID is going to be having a value of whatever that product is. In this case, this is my product ID. So whatever the ID for that course is, this is my product ID. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it here. So this is my very first value that I want to add into my database. And the second value is going to be customer ID. So we're going to go for customer ID and the customer ID, obviously, you know it, this is the customer ID. And we're going to copy this and paste that here and uh, this is all done we can close this curly brace we can just put this there we go now you have got a whole new table or in this case a database which is keeping a track of how many uh, users uh, are purchasing or how many uh, courses and users are interlinked with each other so this is a one way of handling the situation okay 
But as I mentioned, this is a classic way of handling, nothing wrong with it, but there can be a little bit better approach in terms of MongoDB. In the MySQL world, there is no other way, we always go with that way. But in the MongoDB, we have another approach. Some call it as much better approach, some call it as not so good, but I'm not here to debate about that. I'm here just to show you that yes, and I personally believe that's a better approach. So we're gonna just drop this document, db dot, and you know that, how to drop the anything, any document, db dot purchase uh, dot drop. So we're gonna just drop, execute that. And there we go, now it is being dropped. Okay, so how we are going to manage these cases, so what we do in that, in the MongoDB case, we go and look for the document itself, which is users, because users are purchasing the course. So this makes more sense. And I'm gonna simply do an update one, because I want to update just one element here, okay? Now since, as of now, uh, my document is only having one user, that's why I can put up an empty set of uh, curly braces, but in the previous video, I have discussed quite in detail that how we can put up some of the parameters that I want to select this user only, based on email, uh, based on name, whatever you want to go, okay? And after that, the second parameter that we have here uh, is the parameter where we can set or update a value. So we need to use a dollar set here, followed by colon, and after that we need to put a pair of curly braces because dollar set accepts only the object here. So we're gonna simply say uh, purchase list, and since this is going to be a list, we can put a colon and then put a square brackets here. Now in these square brackets, we can just fill it up with all the purchases that this user is making up and we can keep on updating that list. In that way, whenever we just get the information of user, we can grab all the product that he has purchased so far. So uh, we are gonna just make a list of, let's just call this as an object and then we are gonna go for purchase ID and this purchase ID is gonna be equal to the ID of the product, so this is my product, so I'm gonna copy this. And now, right now, it's just too much like copy and pasting, but we don't have anything to just point these variable. So, we're gonna go up here and paste it here. Now, it's going too long here, but what we are trying to do is just trying to add a thing here. So, there we go, and uh, I guess we are missing a few things here. I guess I'm missing this guy, and I can hit enter, there we go. So we have modified this one and we can just find it now. So we're gonna say db.users.find1. There we go and hit that enter. And now what basically we have done, we have entered a new thing here, which is purchase list, which is definitely an array of objects. And in this object, we are providing multiple purchase IDs. And since every time the purchase ID is gonna be a unique, we definitely can go for that. So this is a MongoDB style where you can add any value at given point of time. And this is just, instead of just creating a new document, you can put a multi, many to many relation in just uh, using this one. And surely in the course list, let's just say for some uh, analysis purpose or data analytics purpose, you want that uh, course should also keep a track of how many users have purchased it. In that, we can also just create an array of users list and put an array with the, all the users ID. In fact, in case you don't want to put it, you can just dump all the values like that as well, like object ID, object ID, object ID. That may be an approach, not really amazing one, but yeah, definitely that can be an approach. So here's a quick assignment. I want you to just go into this product, uh, which is uh, I have done for the user, I want you to do for uh, this users. Uh, no, I have done for users, I want you to do for courses. So courses should also have a list to handle many to many relationship and should have a, a value that says a user list and all the users who are purchasing the course uh, should be able to uh, just add a field. So just in the comment section, I want you to write this entire line, whatever I have written here, like db.update1 and all of that. So make sure you also write this, copy and paste whatever you're writing into the comment section below, and that's your assignment. So now, as a whole total, you have learned a lot about MongoDB, how you can add values, delete values, update values, I can drop some of the documents, and also you have learned about relationship between the documentation, which is a very crucial thing for every single developer. You have learned about one-to-one, many-to-one, one-to-many, and a whole lot of bunch of things. 
I hope you are enjoying this series. In case you are enjoying it, please, please do let me know. You're just a simple thanks by going on my Instagram, DM me, just hey thanks, your videos do help. It's a big motivator and that keeps me going and this smile keeps up there. So I hope you are smiling too. I'm smiling too because I'm enjoying your support here. That's it for this video and let's catch up in the next one.